my name is Dr. Matthew Weir. I'm a professor of medicine and chief of the Division of Nephrology in the Department of Medicine at the University of Maryland School of Medicine in Baltimore, Maryland. Yes, we presented a paper uh, here at the National Kidney Foundation's spring clinical meetings, which is really a compilation of the accumulated data from three studies evaluating the utility of pterimer, which is a new potassium lowering medication to facilitate control of hyperkalemia in people who are on renin-angiotensin system inhibitors for the treatment of either chronic kidney disease or congestive heart failure. Basically, the net results of our accumulated data is that approximately 96% of patients were capable of reaching a goal uh, potassium level between 3.8 and 5.0 milliequivalents per liter, which shows a very high success rate. We also noted that there were very few uh, dropouts due to side effects and no major acute uh, side effects that would require uh, you know, reduction from uh, treatment with the drug. So overall, I mean, the main point of the whole analysis was to demonstrate the utility of this new approach to controlling hyperkalemia in people with chronic kidney disease and uh, heart failure who obviously are deriving benefit from renin angiotensin system blockade as part of a treatment strategy to modify uh, their uh, disease, underlying disease process. Well, the take home pearl really across this uh, group of patients who were about 84% diabetic, average uh, GFR of about 39 ml per minute, is that this is a safe and effective once daily therapeutic strategy to facilitate control of hyperkalemia. My only disclosures are that I have served as a consultant uh, for uh, the company that manufactures this chemical called Relipsa. I've also uh, served on uh, the steering committee and was principal investigator of one of the three clinical trials that was uh, presented as part of this paper.